Well, good morning and welcome to Minneapolis, Minnesota. I would love to see just revival events break out all over the US, all over the world, where Generation Z is turning to Jesus. And not only that, but we are discipling them in those events. The How to Life Retreat up here in Minnesota was an incredibly honoring opportunity. Um, I actually got to speak which was awesome. Like that's an honor to be able to speak to my generation. But I think, and this is what I was anticipating at the beginning, but the thing I was most encouraged by was just to see the zeal and passion and wisdom in the other leaders in my generation. This weekend at the How to Life Retreat, uh, the biggest lesson that God has taught me is that Jesus Christ and Christianity is highlighted in brokenness. Um, I was able to get the awesome opportunity to join in fellowship with other brothers and sisters in Christ um, around my age group. And uh, a lot of us are hurt and we're broken, but that ultimately glorifies God. I am so excited about what God is doing this weekend in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We have young people, over 50 Gen Z leaders from 22 states around America, plus Mexico, every major region of the US. And we are here having a conversation about what God is doing in our generation. And our hope and prayer is that the Great Commission would be fulfilled in our lifetime, and that not only people would come to know Jesus in the United States, where many of us that are here are from, but that God would move in the nations of the world. All right, guys, we are at the How to Life National Gen Z Leadership Retreat in Minnesota. We've got a lot of states and two countries represented here right now. <laughs> Thank you for, for this brother or sister of mine watching this video, Lord, and I pray that you would break their heart for what breaks yours. Lord, I pray that you would show them the urgent need for us to go reach the lost, to go into communities that have never heard the message of Jesus and fill them with the knowledge of Christ. And Lord, we're sorry for being asleep while you're weeping. And we just ask that we would stand by you in your hurt. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. How can someone that did not owe me anything chose to give me everything? Someone that I gave sin and he gave his son. This does not make sense. And this led me to reject in one moment of my life God's love because I could not fully understand how could you love me? I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, but I am ready to live um, in your truth and in your light, God, from this moment forward. Amen.